A lot of water gets wasted waiting for the hot water to arrive at a sink, bathtub, shower, or other plumbing fixture. We'll show you how residential and commercial domestic hot water recirculation systems work to save water, energy, time, and money. We'll start by showing you three basic residential systems. Domestic hot water recirculation systems are designed to provide instant hot water to various fixtures and appliances throughout a home, such as faucets, showers, and washing machines, by circulating hot water continuously through the pipes so as to avoid waiting for the water to heat up. System number one is the traditional residential system with a dedicated return line. A dedicated return line is installed that connects the furthest hot water fixture in the home back to the water heater. This line allows hot water to circulate continuously back to the water heater in a continuous loop. A recirculation pump is installed on the hot water return line, typically near the water heater. The pump is designed to move hot water from the farthest fixture through the dedicated return line back to the water heater. A check valve is installed on the return line to prevent hot water from flowing back into the return piping. A timer or thermostat is installed to control when the recirculation pump operates. To ensure that the recirculation system operates efficiently, a temperature sensor or timer is installed near the pump. The sensor or timer controls the pump to circulate hot water only when needed. When hot water is needed at a fixture, the pump is activated and hot water is quickly circulated through the pipes, providing hot water almost instantaneously. The return line ensures that hot water is constantly recirculated, so there's always hot water available when needed. If the home wasn't pre-piped with a dedicated return line, then the following two options are available to avoid an evasive renovation project. Under the sink residential system number two, a bypass valve is installed at the furthest fixture to allow the hot water line to circulate back to the water heater using the cold water piping. The bypass valve stays closed while the hot water temperature is warm. A pump is installed on the hot water line at the water heater. When the temperature of the water at the furthest plumbing fixture cools down, the pump will turn on and circulate hot water from the water heater through the bypass valve and into the cold water line until the temperature is warm enough. The pump is turned on by a timer that is set by the user to come on when the residents normally need hot water. The system can be easily installed within a couple of hours. Under the sink residential system number three, there is a simple on-demand hot water recirculation system that can be added to the furthest fixture. In our case, a pump is added to the sink on the second floor of this home. The piping is reconfigured so that the water is fed through the recirculation pump housing manifold. The manifold is then connected to the sink. There is no hot water recirculation line. Instead, the pump has a temperature sensor that will shut off the pump when the temperature reaches its set point of 110 degrees Fahrenheit, 43 degrees Celsius, or whatever the customer sets it at. A little of the hot water will be sent into the cold water line until the temperature sensor shuts off the pump. There are options on how to control the pump. By installing an aquastat or temperature sensor, the pump can turn on when the hot water temperature drops to 85 degrees Fahrenheit 29 degrees Celsius and keep running until the stat reads 105 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius, at which point it shuts off. Another option is that there could be a timer set to bring the pump on at a certain time each day, let's say 6 a.m., a half hour before the family gets up. This would allow for the hot water to be ready for use at any fixture. Another option is a switch that is manually turned on or remotely if using a wireless app. With this option, the pump can be set to turn off and on every 15 minutes to maintain hot water at the fixture. 
This avoids wasting time waiting for hot water, saves money, and stops wasting water. Commercial hot water recirculation system. When selecting a commercial hot water recirculation system, it's essential to consider factors such as the building size, water usage patterns, and energy efficiency goals. Here's a simple explanation using a small hotel with one main riser. A hot water recirculation pump will be installed along with a dedicated return line that is connected to the hot water piping at a point that provides a maximum of 50 feet in piping distance to the furthest fixture requiring hot water. The International Plumbing Code, IPC, Section 607.2, states that the distance from the source of hot water to the fixture shall not exceed 50 feet. Then a check valve, along with the discharge piping, is connected to the cold water piping feeding the water heater. This is the basic layout. Of course, there are many factors to consider when designing a commercial system, so consulting with a qualified mechanical engineer can help ensure that the system selected is appropriate for the building's specific needs and requirements. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.